our Mass today is offered for the repose of the soul of Dolores Cordella. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. My dear friends, as we offer this Mass, we ask for the grace of hope. Let us now acknowledge our sinfulness and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. <coughs> May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who renew the world through mysteries beyond all telling, grant we pray that your church may be guided by your eternal design and not be deprived of your help in this present age. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, Lo, I am about to create new heavens and a new earth. The things of the past shall not be remembered or come to mind. Instead, there shall always be rejoicing and happiness in what I create. For I create Jerusalem to be a joy and its people to be a delight. I will rejoice in Jerusalem and exalt in my people. <clears throat> no longer shall the sound of weeping be heard there or the sound of crying. No longer shall it be in it an infant who lives but a few days or an old man who does not round out his full lifetime. He dies a mere youth who reaches but a hundred years and who fails of a hundred shall be thought accursed. They shall live in the houses they build and eat the fruit of the vineyards they plant. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. <clears throat> I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. I, I will, will praise, praise you, Lord, for you, you have rescued, rescued me. I will extol you, O Lord, for you drew me clear and did not let my enemies rejoice over me. O Lord, you brought me up from the netherworld. You preserved me from among those going down into the pit. I will, I will praise, praise you, Lord, Lord for you, you have rescued, rescued me. Sing praise to the Lord, you his faithful ones, and give thanks to his holy name. For his anger lasts but a moment, a lifetime, his goodwill. At nightfall, weeping enters in, but with the dawn, rejoicing. I will I praise, praise you, Lord, Lord for you have, have rescued me. Hear, O Lord, and have pity on me. O Lord, be my helper. You changed my mourning into dancing. O Lord, my God, forever will I thank you. I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. <clears throat> praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise, praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Seek good and not evil, so that you may live, and the Lord will be with you. Praise, Praise to the Lord Jesus Christ, Christ King, King of endless, endless glory. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory, glory to, to you, Lord. Lord. At that time, Jesus left Samaria for Galilee, for Jesus himself testified that a prophet 
has no honor in his native place. When he came into Galilee, the Galileans welcomed him, since they had seen all he had done in Jerusalem at the feast, for they themselves had gone to the feast. Then he returned to Cana in Galilee, where he had made the water wine. Now there was a royal official whose son was ill in Capernaum. When he heard that Jesus had arrived in Galilee from Judea, he went to him and asked him to come down and heal his son who was near death. Jesus said to him, Unless you people see signs and wonders, you will not believe. The royal official said to him, Sir, come down before my child dies. Jesus said to him, You may go, your son will live. The man believed that Jesus said to him what Jesus said to him and left. While the man was on his way back, his slaves met him and told him that his boy would live. He asked them when he began to recover. They told him the fever left him yesterday about one in the afternoon. The father realized that just as the man, Jesus, or just at that time Jesus had said to him, Your son will live, and he and his whole household came to believe. Now this was the second sign Jesus did when he came to Galilee from Judea. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Good morning. Good morning, Father. Every time the theme of our scriptures is about hope and about faith, I'm always reminded of the boy who was struck up the roof of their burning house. The smoke was so thick that he cannot see anything around him. He was crying, calling his father for help. And suddenly, he heard his father's voice asking him to jump. But the boy replied, no, Dad, I cannot see you. The father said, just jump, son, I can see you. I'll catch you. Dad, I'm afraid, said the boy. Don't be afraid, my son. Trust me, and you'll be fine. Finally, the son jumped, landed in his father's arms, and was saved. In our readings today, we have also a father-son relationship. The father who was who happened to be a royal official and the son who happened to be ill. And also, let us connect this story of our relationship with God. We are his children, God as our father. And you brothers and sisters, I would like you to reflect about our faith in Christ's words. First, have faith in Christ's words. Today's gospel passage said, The man believed what Jesus said to him and left. Jesus cured the official son because he placed his trust in Jesus' word. He believed in Jesus. He has no proof, only the word of Jesus. In prayers to Christ offered us his word. We are called to trust in his words without proof. And he assured us that he is with us. So during this time that we are afraid of the epidemic that is happening all over the world, trust in the word of Jesus because Christ is faithful to his promises. And I think this is the hope that the prophet Isaiah is telling us in our first reading today. And this hope that the prophet Isaiah is telling us is fulfilled by Jesus in his lifetime. And he even conquered death by he himself dying and rising after three days. Second, his word makes us better persons. Perhaps at first, the royal official gave little affection to Christ's words. 
but afterwards, the words would come back and touch his conscience. He was so touched in such a way that Christ's word gave him courage and his whole family, whole household, came to believe. A husband came from late almost every night and would always try to make up by greeting his wife. How is, my, how is the beautiful mother, my three wonderful children? Somehow, he always got away with it. But one night, when the husband greeted her with his usual line, the wife was so annoyed with his style and cheerfully greeted him. And how are you, the father of one of my three children? <laughs> <laughs> Puzzled and overpowered by this statement, the husband changed. <coughs> he had to wait for these hurting words before he did something right to preserve the family. These words break each one of them before they, came, they became better spouses and consequently became better persons. What I'm saying is that words are powerful. Let us use our words to bless, not curse. To console other people, not to make their lives stressful and heavy. During this time of the pandemic, words are necessary. Call a friend, write a relative, and tell them not to be afraid because there is hope. This is a promise. That this is a promise, and Christ is faithful. This promise. And to all the frontliners of our greatest war against the COVID-19 pandemic. You are our heroes. We bless you and we care for you. Thank you for your tender, loving care. Have faith in God's words because His divine word can create, His word can heal, His words can transform our lives. Second, allow yourselves to become a better person so that a new heaven and a new earth will dwell in our hearts today and always. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness I have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. Blessed be Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness I have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord, we ask you to accept us for peace with the sacrifice of your tongue and contrite heart. Lord, bless me for my sin and cleanse me from my iniquities. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, to Almighty Father. May the, the Lord, Lord accept the sacrifice in your hands, hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for the good of all his holy church. church. 
May we receive, O Lord, we pray, the effects of this offering dedicated to you, so that we may be cleansed from all earthly ways and be renewed by growth in heavenly life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for through bodily fasting you restrain our faults, raise up our minds, and bestow both virtue for its rewards through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you, Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. We are voices we pray, join with tears in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. By the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together, Francis, our Pope, and Edward, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that to the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, to the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, 
we dare to say. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should, should enter under, under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. Let us pray. May your holy gifts, O Lord, we pray. Give us life by making us new and by sanctifying us. Lead us to things eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Prayer for an end of the pandemic. <clears throat> God our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the 2019 and coronavirus that has claimed lives and has affected many. We pray for your grace for the people tasked with studying, 
the nature and cause of this virus and its disease, and of stemming the tide of its transmission by the hands and minds of medical experts, that they may minister to the sick with the confidence and compassion of those governments and private agencies that must find cure and solution to this epidemic. We pray for those afflicted, may they be restored to health soon. Grant us the grace to work for the good of all and to help those in need. Grant this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Mary, help of all Christians, pray for us. Saint Raphael, the Archangel, pray for us. Saint Rock, pray for us. Saint John the Baptist, pray for us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. Renew your people within and without, O Lord. And since it is your will that they be unhindered by bodily delights, give them, we pray, perseverance in their spiritual intent through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.